Hello, boys and girls, my name is Sotsis here and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included here on our asteroid Volcania, which is a bit on the warm side and we are currently facing two issues. One is related to the hotness uh, because looking at the temperatures uh, it's getting a bit too warm for uh, some of the crops to, to grow. So since last time I have started working on that with uh, here um, a tank of uh, polluted water that we will use for cooling and then up here a, a proper set up to do the actually cooling down which is still being uh, built up and we are still filling in here more polluted water but the other issue is related to water we are running out of it um, we have this set up here which i think cannot even uh, uh, supply enough water for uh, for sufficient oxygen production also at the at the moment it is looking good but uh, this geyser is in its active phase, so once it becomes dormant, uh, maybe a bit of uh, of a dry spell. Even if we uh, if we uh, put a bit of uh, water aside here, um, so yeah, and we don't have any other source of water like geyser around we have some some ice but all that's uh, finite and currently uh, our farm setup is supplied by this water but that's about to run out and the only other ball, uh, body of water is up here so I think uh, we will drain that one down so we can replenish this one a bit um, until we have something else going but we also need to have another ranch and I think today we will tackle the puffs and uh, in doing so we hopefully also uh, figure out the uh, solution to our water shortage because down here we have a polluted water geyser uh, which uh, polluted water geyser uh, that would then also be a good environment for puffs because of polluted oxygen so we will create that uh, down here i'm a bit worried about the, 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 the temperatures that we have but it's not really something we can we can uh, help with so we will have this basically as a as a two sink chamber we have down here a bit of a, 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 a storage container for the water which we will also use to pump out uh, we will have to clean that water at some point so we have water out of it that we then can also eventually fill into the oil wells uh, but more importantly that would then also become an uh, input source for our farm and for oxygen uh, production as well so that's the plan for uh, today um, I we have a door here on this side so I think that's that's the lowest we can go so have a bit of of a thing going there take that out and then have the level going down here and actually we want to get rid of all the oil in this area because uh, the, the oil is not really helping helping us uh, with, with what we want to have. 
But that's the plan. Lots of work to do, so let uh, the duplicant uh, uh, do what they do worst. Um, then we will see, hopefully in a, in a short time, um, how we can uh, deal with things and how they have improved. The cooling setup is up and running and currently we are in the process of cooling down this body of water. Uh, we do have pipes laid out throughout the base, basically through almost all the rooms. Um, some have some radiant pipes. We will have to see how that works out with, with cooling down, if we need more, if we need less. Um, but yeah. And we have run out of water down here. So that basically means we will dig in in here uh, to drain this water. Uh, let that fall down. Uh, that should be a bit of a spectacle. Uh, if they can uh, dig out all the way and uh, then we are still in the process of uh, digging out the area for the uh, puffed, um, puffed ranch. Um, so that will come in in uh, due time and uh, there the first water goes. Of course it will spill over a bit here on, on the side but that's not a, a big problem. Uh, actually, we could deconstruct this tile because that should not be here. And we can collect all this water up that we have here on the side where it does not belong. So let's maybe force Oh, we want to deconstruct the tile, not the conveyor belt. That's underneath. And that should help us with the, the water situation. Yes, uh, almost full again um, until we can get the polluted water out from uh, underneath. Uh, and once we have sufficiently cooled down this body of water, we can uh, turn on this pump um, and cool down the base as well. Because currently we are a bit in a, a dire situation when it comes to, to food. Uh, because most of our plants, they, they got a bit too hot. Um, so no no food from that side so uh, it's uh, uh, always a bit kind of thing um, to get uh, additional meat out of our branches um, so we can feed our duplicants that way and let's mop this up now before the water gets gets too deep for that and in here, I have left uh, some puckles because as this body cools down, I would expect to see that eventually we will get the, the third kind uh, that prefers lower temperatures. But as said down here, we have dug out the lower part and are now in the process of digging out various parts so we can remove the, uh, the oil that's that's in here uh, properly encase everything there um, and then set up a proper edge and let's see what we have here iron yes I will take that uh, I would have preferred some some food but iron is not bad all right then, let's uh, wait and uh, and see until we get um, a bit more uh, 
Okay, looks like I have set this up the wrong way. Um, probably... Let's have zero degrees on all of those. And that should help us with uh, optimal pulling. It's always the same these setups. I most often they do it the wrong way. And now we have reached uh, zero calories. So let's try and harvest a few more of these, uh, these pips. And we also do hatches. Give us a bit of, of meat so we don't starve to death. That's a different game by clay games. Um, but yeah, we will see. We will see how it how it goes. And here I have also sent out the uh, the ranch with our slixus. We have one still remaining and uh, and three eggs. But we will get that number up again. This lower part is finally dug out, um, but we still have a bit too much carbon dioxide in here. That's why I have prepared this uh, gas pump setup that should pump the carbon dioxide over to this side. And hopefully it will not um, creep in too fast into, into this area. Um, we have set this up as a farm, so now the tricky part is to get some uh, pots in. And as they are uh, flying creatures, they cannot be trapped, they cannot, can only be lured. Um, and that's at the best of time a difficult task so what we will do is instead we will have a storage bin for the eggs and hopefully we can locate some eggs to put in there so let's have a look everywhere where we see puffs if they have dropped some eggs by any chance. There are a lot of egg shells. Cannot see. Oh, there is one. Yep. That's great. And... see that we get that one built put the egg in and uh, until the egg is uh, is hatched hopefully we have this set up for the, for the gas gas in place so we can actually have polluted oxygen atmosphere in here instead of carbon dioxide um, and um, there is a lot of spill over here. We also have this pipe going up here. That's for the clean water. That then should connect here. Uh, so we can supply everything else. Probably we want to not have this then directly hooked up there but on on this level on this line because the water that's coming from down below is a bit on the warm side so having that going into the uh, 
the uh, oxygen production and then here through the, the cooling loop that would be a good thing but for now uh, let's see yeah that one is built so let's select the eggs that we want to have in here make that priority seven and then where have we seen that egg this one sweep just making sure that i'm not overlooking anything yep that egg is picked up And then, of course, we have to make sure, once it's put in here, that it does not stay in there. Because if it stays in the cabinet, then it becomes a fried egg and not a hatched egg. And that's not exactly what we want to, to happen here. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, how we how we get on once that uh, puffed is is hatched here. The puffed has hatched. Hopefully he will survive. And uh, we have to set up for the pipes going on. Uh, however, at the moment the, the water coming up here is a bit on the on the warm side even though the water down here is about 30 35 degrees celsius so i think replacing these pipes with isolated pipes might help there we have the uh, the carbon dioxide uh, removal um, and that should help uh, lowering the, the pressure on this side so that we can actually get some polluted oxygen out of the polluted water. Um, here was the water sieve, apparently it's even too hot uh, for gold amalgam so um, I will need to replace this with, with a steel one, otherwise we are golden. And with that I think we are at the end of this episode. Um, for our cooling setup uh, I hooked up another circuit here on this side, which basically is for the refinement and the uh the petroleum generation which is also a bit on the on the warm side there and oh yeah i uh, added uh, a mushroom farm down here and uh, control this current skimmer a bit so uh, it only uh, runs when uh, there is one kilogram of uh, uh, air pressure down here so we have enough uh, pressure in our farm so and that gives us a bit more uh, food to, to work with which I think is always nice here we now have the problem that we actually run out of water because we are dry down here and I rerouted this to this side but this uh, reservoir just came full so uh, we are just uh, pushing water through, through here we are going in with 35 degrees we are coming out let's see with 
was that 980 with that's nice that's how i like it and with that we are at the end of this episode hope you enjoyed it and we will just have to see uh which animal to tackle next until then goodbye